So, you want to set up your first shrimp tank. Today I'm going to give you a short guide on how to set up your own Neocaridina tank. I'm going to keep Caridina shrimp out of this separately because they require different parameters. Hopefully this guide will show that you don't need an expensive tank or state-of-the-art equipment and is accessible to anyone who's interested in getting into a shrimp keeping hobby. I hope you enjoy. I picked up this little acrylic tank for £5 off Gumtree. Just look for your local ads and you can probably find some quite cheap tanks out there, nice bargains. But I would always recommend to water test your tank, make sure that it's on a nice soft surface and leave the tank for 24 hours, the longer the better, to make sure all the seals and everything like that are perfect. Once the tank is full, you can use a bit of tape or a non-permanent marker, just a marker at the top of the tank to view the water level and make sure it's not dipped at all, because that will show you that you have a leak. Uh, for me personally, I just use the bottom rim of this tank and have filled it up to that point. So I'll leave this for 24 hours overnight and hopefully when I come back in the morning, it will be the same. Now I know the tank has no leaks or anything like that with its seals, I'll be happy to use this tank. This is a different case because it's not glass, but I would always recommend checking the silicone around glass tanks just in case there's any weaknesses to them. And if there is, then you can just reseal them with 100% silicon and you should be able to water test and be fine. Now on to the fun part, filling up your tank. So I just use kids play sand, I rinse it out thoroughly. In this example, I've actually just taken some old sand from a, a different tank that's already established. But the good thing about that is it has the healthy bacteria that you need in that sand anyway. Um, I've also used a filter from another tank as well, so it'll be impregnated with healthy bacteria. I'll speed this up a little bit, so I'll just speed up the process for you. But in regards to healthy bacteria, you can get different products and you can get healthy bacteria in a bottle or from a friend's established tank. I only use a very thin layer just to make sure that no ammonia gets built up underneath the sand because ammonia is very deadly to shrimp. And now it's time for the hardscape. My personal favourite is lava rock because it's very porous and things that I'm going to be using, the plant that I'm going to be using, java moss, is very very good at clinging on to porous rocks like this. I tend to position my rocks so it obscures the filter so I tend to just pick a corner, you could choose any corner and just choose the aesthetic you want really, play around with it a bit, be adventurous. Now I'm happy with everything that's in this very simple setup, I am now going to move on to the plant life. As mentioned earlier, that's java moss, a nice easy beginner plant, grows like mad and sucks all of the bad stuff out of your water and keeps it nice and clean. So you just put that on top of the rock and because it's a nice porous surface it will hopefully cling to it over time as it grows. I missed a bit. I like to obscure my filters like this to give the tank a bit more of a natural look. Now arguably this is the most important part. You need to make sure that you condition your water because chlorine and other contaminants in the water will definitely kill your shrimp so always read the instructions on the back before dosing. Once you have the right dosage for the amount of water you need, add it to the water and stir the water around thoroughly. Obviously I've already done this so I don't need to repeat the same process. But at this point, your water should be ready to go in the tank. Now a handy little tip which I wish I knew years ago, before adding the water, if you grab a sponge and a little container, like so, and make sure the sponge is clean before putting it in the tank, put it into the small container, and slowly pour water into the tank, making sure that you don't sort of throw up silty stuff from the sand. I personally use sponge filters on my tanks so I'll show you how to set that up but personally for me I feel it's safer as I breed shrimp and I sell them so I want to maximize my babies. In regards of canister filters and hang on back filters sometimes the shrimp can get sucked in there or trapped in there and unfortunately bleeds to death so I always recommend sponge filters when setting up shrimp only tanks. As you can see sometimes these can be a little bit fiddly. Keep on wriggling around and eventually it will go in there. So when you get your filter entirely put together, you need to be adding a check valve. This will stop water from flowing back out from your tank if the pump fails. This is very important as you don't want water to be mixing with electricals for obvious reasons. So hook that up, make sure that everything's tight. And then what you want to do is add a 
pressure valve. Now, some pumps come with pressure valves anyway, but I always like to use my own as it gives me a bit more control. Now with the other end of the valve, you want to be connecting that up to the actual main pump. So get another bit of airline tubing, connect that to the airline valve, and then with the other end of the airline, connect that up to the pump. It's also worth noting at this point that botanicals like bogwood and almond leaves can all be used to keep your pH stable. And it's a little tip that I learned later on in my shrimp keeping career. But they're very beneficial for the shrimp tank, so I highly recommend them. Make sure the flow of the air bubbler isn't too high so it doesn't tumble around your shrimp, but it should be a decent rate so you know the tank's going to be filtering efficiently. The important thing is you need to drip acclimate your shrimp before adding them, but since this is a quick tank setup guide, I will link someone who's done an acclimation video in the description, as well as any other articles that you guys may find helpful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to comment, please like and subscribe, and remember, keep it shrimple. Thanks for watching.